हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज क्लास नाइन्थ चैप्टर फाइव इन वी आर डिस्कसिंग द मॉड्यूल टू ऑफ चैप्टर फाइव नेचुरल वेजिटेशन एंड वाइल्ड लाइफ इन दिस मॉड्यूल वी विल डिस्कस टाइप्स ऑफ वेजिटेशन फाउंड इन इंडिया देर आर डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ वेजिटेशन इन द वर्ल्ड बट मेनली फाइव काइंड ऑफ वेजिटेशन फाउंड इन इंडिया these are tropical evergreen forest then second is tropical deciduous third one is tropical thorny forest fourth is montane or mountainous forest and the fifth one is mangrove or we can say the tidal forest so in this way there are major five kind or five types of vegetation found in india we will discuss one by one all five tropical rain forest the another name of tropical rain forest is evergreen forest because these kind of forest require more than 200 cm rainfall that's why they called as rain forest so the rainfall require for the these kind of forest more than or above 200 cm second thing this kind of forest found in rainy parts like western slope of western ghat and islands of lakshadweep and andaman and nicobar upper part of assam tamil nadu coast so these are the area of tropical rain forest or we can say tropical evergreen forest the height of these tree up to 60 meters or even more so you can see there is a availability of all kinds of trees like shrubs herbs middle height trees and long height trees and the height of trees up to 60 meter since the region is warm and wet throughout the year it has luxuriant vegetation of all kinds i will explain you that all kind of vegetation like trees shrubs herbs creeper climber giving a multi layer structure so the another feature of the evergreen forest is multi layer structure means in first layer there is a shrub in second layer middle height trees in third layer a 60 meter above high trees so in this way we can say there is a multi layered structure in the evergreen forest we can found evergreen forest are there is a no definite time so the question is arise that why they called as evergreen forest because there is a no definite time for trees to shed their leaves because as i just explain you there are number of trees found in tropical rain forest and due to the number of variety they don't have a definite time to shed their leaves that's why these forests appear green all the year around that's why they call as evergreen forest commercially these forests are not as much important but ecologically they are more important because in this kind of forest there is a biodiversity in form of plants as well as in form of animals but some of commercially important trees like ebony mahogany rosewood rubber 
and cinchona also found in these trees. Then common animal found in these area like elephant, monkey, lemu, deer, one horned rhinosaur and especially the one horned rhinosaur found in the jungles of Assam and West Bengal. Other the plenty of birds, bats, sloth, scorpions and snails are also found in these kind of forests. Here you can see the multilayer structure, the picture of the tropical evergreen forest, then plants as I explain you like mahogany and cinchona and animal like lemu and monkey. Next type of tree or forest are tropical deciduous forest. As we discussed that evergreen forests require more than or about 200 centimeter rainfall, but tropical deciduous forests require the rainfall between 70 to 100, 200 centimeter means between the rainfall 70 to 200 centimeter there is a existence of deciduous forest. These forests also called monsoon forest because the maximum area where there is a monsoon rainfall this kind of vegetation found and deciduous forests are most widespread forests in India. This is the most important line that which forest is widespread in India. So, the deciduous forests are most widespread forest of India. Yani India may subse jada konse type ke forest milte hain, to deciduous type ke forest India may subse jada milte hain. Trees shed their leaf for about 6 to 8 week in summer on the basis of availability of water. These forests are further divided into moist and dry deciduous forest means in trees ki jo leaves hain because yaha bahut kam kind ki diversity milti hain as I explain you sabse jada diversity in form of flora and fauna we can found in tropical evergreen lekin tropical deciduous mein diversity kam milti hai that's why यहाँ पर एक फिक्स टाइम होता है अपनी लीव्स को शेड करने का और वो वाटर की अवेलेबिलिटी और दूसरे कॉजेस पर डिपेंड करता है। ट्रॉपिकल डेसिडेस ट्रीज को हम टू पार्ट्स में डिवाइड कर सकते हैं ड्राई एंड मॉइस्ट की फॉर्म में। यहाँ के कॉमन एनिमल्स जो मिलते हैं लायन, टाइगर, पिक, डियर, एलिफेंट एंड are many found in these area. You can see the two type of deciduous, moist deciduous and dry deciduous. So, you can see the difference of the moist and dry. The basically the difference on the basis of rainfall, where there is a rainfall between 100 to 200 there is a moist deciduous and where there is a availability of rainfall 70 to 100 only there is a availability of dry deciduous forest. Next kind of forest are tropical thorn forests or scrubs. They require less than 70 centimeter rainfall. So, in this way we can revise tropical evergreen more than 200, tropical deciduous 70 to 200 and tropical thorn forest below or below 70 centimeter rainfall. Found in the semi arid the area of this kind of forest found in basically semi arid area of Gujarat, Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh. UP, Chhattisgarh and Haryana. Vegetation consists of the thorny trees and bushes 
acacia this is the most important type of vegetation of the thorny forest acacia then palm cactus type of vegetation also found in these areas trees are scattered and have long roots penetrating deep into the soil and spreading in the radial pattern to find water means yahan ke trees bahut bikhre hue ya scattered form mein hote hain aur unki roots jo hoti hain wo bahut long hoti hain taki easily wo earth ya crustal area ko penetrate karke yani digging karke under water ko use kar sake stems are skillent to conserve water जो थॉर्नी फॉरेस्ट होते हैं उनके जो स्टैम्प्स होते हैं वो बहुत हार्ड होते हैं ताकि वो वाटर को कंजर्व कर सकें कॉमन एनिमल फाउंड इन दीज एरिया लाइक रैट्स माइस रैबिट्स फॉक्स वुल्फ टाइगर लॉयन वाइल्ड एस हॉर्सेस एंड कैमल्स एज यू कैन सी द पिक्चर ऑफ एनिमल एंड प्लांट्स इन द थॉर्नी फॉरेस्ट एरिया एनिमल लाइक रेट्स एंड वाइल्ड एस प्लांट most common plant cactuses and palm wildlife of thorny forest like camel deer snake lizards etc next kind of trees are tidal forest or the other name of the tidal forest are mangrove forest basically these kind of forest found in the tidal or in the marshy regions the structure of the mangrove forest three horizontal zones with tree about 15 meter tall trees vary in height from 2 meter to 40 meter as muddy soil in environment cannot provide from support you can see the coastal zone means in coastal zone you can find this kind of height in middle zone you can find this kind of soil or in inland zone you can find this kind of a height mangrove forest as explain you found in coastal influence area by tides means jahan bhi coastal area honge ya jahan river marsh areas honge wahan par mangrove kind ki vegetations milengi isliye in forest ko tidal forest bhi kehte hain mud and slit get accumulated on such coast yahan par मड और स्लिट जो ऐसे कॉस्ट होते हैं वहाँ मड और सिल्ट सिल्ट इज अनादर फाइन पार्टिकल ऑफ सॉइल सिल्ट सॉइल का ही फाइन पार्टिकल होता है जहाँ मड और सिल्ट बहुत ज़्यादा गहरे आपको मिलते हैं डेंस मैंग्रू आर कॉमन इन वैरायटी विद रूट्स ऑफ द प्लांट समर्ज अंडर द वाटर एज यू कैन सी इन द अब पिक्चर दैट द ट्रीज आर समर्ज यू कैन सी trees roots are submerged in the water next found in the delta of ganga mahanadi krishna and godavari and kaveri yani in nadiyon ke deltas mein mangrove kind ki vegetation milti hai isse se deltic vegetation bhi kehte hain sundri trees the most important tree of the mangrove forest sundri sundri trees are found in ganga brahmaputra delta provided durable hard timber sundri actually sundri the name of the tree found in sundarban delta of west bengal of ganga am brahmaputra delta this is the world's largest delta so world ka sabse bada delta jo ganga aur brahmaputra nadiyan form karti hain west bengal mein that is called sundarban delta aur yah delta सुंदरी ट्रीज के लिए फेमस है सुंदरी ट्रीज जो एक ड्यूरेबल और हार्ड टिम्बर प्रोवाइड करते हैं अदर प्लांट्स आ पाम कोकोनट ख्यो एग एट्सेट्रा फेमस एनिमल रॉयल बेंगाल टाइगर दिस द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टर्म द फेमस एनिमल ऑफ द मैंग्रूव फॉरेस्ट आर रॉयल बेंगाल टाइगर अदर एनिमल लाइक टर्टल खोखोदाइल घरियाल एंड स्नेक्स एट्सेट्रा नेक्स्ट काइंड of forest and the fifth forest is the mountain forest and we can also say mountainous forest mountain forest or we can say that in mountainous area 
the decreasing in temperature with increasing altitude altitude means height so the decreasing in the temperature with increasing altitude or height leads to corresponding change in the natural vegetation it means ki jaise se height increase hoti hai वैसे वैसे टेम्परेचर डिक्रीज होता है और ये हम पहले ही डिस्कस कर चुके हैं कि टाइप ऑफ वेजिटेशन डायरेक्टली इफेक्टेड बाय टेम्परेचर एंड रेनफॉल तो जैसे जैसे टेम्परेचर डिक्रीज होगा टाइप ऑफ वेजिटेशन भी क्या हो जाएगा चेंज हो जाएगा सो देयर इज अ सक्सेशन ऑफ नेचुरल वेजिटेशन बेल्ट इन द सेम ऑर्डर एज वी कैन सी द ट्रॉपिकल टू द टुंड्रा रीजन यानी माउंटेनियस एरिया में ट्रॉपिकल से लेकर टुंड्रा रीजन में जिन जिन टाइप्स के ट्रीज मिलते हैं वो सारे ही टाइप के ट्रीज मिलते हैं एट अ वेराइज हाइट यानी हाइट के अकॉर्डिंग डिफरेंट टाइप के ट्रीज मिलते हैं एज यू कैन सी एट द हाइट ऑफ थाउजेंड टू टू थाउजेंड मीटर दिस इज द वेट टेम्परेट एवरग्रीन ब्रॉड लीव फॉरेस्ट एंड ओक एंड चेस्टनट कैन फाउंड हेयर at the height of 1500 to 3000 meter this is a temperate forest we can find with conifers pine deodar silver fir spruce cedar cedar is the most important trees of the southern slope of himalaya then at the height of 3000 to 3600 meters temperate forest we can find grassland silver fir juniper pine and birches then at the height of or we can say the above or beyond the 3060 meter there is we can find only shrubs and scrubs above it we can find the alpine grassland because as this much height we can find the well developed vegetation so we can find only the alpine grassland and above it we can find only the mosses and lichens mosses and lichens are sepals small flower plants we can find and above it there is only snow cap or ice cap area so in this way we can say that at a different height there is a existence of different kind of trees common animal found in mountain forest like kashmir stag spotted deer wild sheep jack rabbit tibetan antelope this is the most important animal we can find in the mountain forest that is the tibetan antelope yak snow leopard squirrel shaggy horn wild ibex bear red panda the rare species red panda sheep goat with thick hair these are the different varieties of animal we can found in the mountain or the mountainous forest the another question that in the grassland area of the mountain forest there is a existence of different tribes so the name of the tribe that use the alpine grassland for extensive grazing that the gujars and bakawals as you can see these are the herders those who can herd the sheep goat horses etc another term for these forests that are called migratory birds the different migratory birds also visited different forests in different different time period so from different kind of migratory birds which one visit india birds first of all we should know the mean of migratory bird so the birds that migrate from one region to another traveling in the thousand to build nest and raise their young one go back later at term as migratory bird yani jo bird thousands kilometer ka distance ko par karke ek jagah se dusri jagah par aate hain jahan apne sepals ko birth karte hain unko grow karte hain aur uske baad wapas apni jagah par chale jate hain ye basically season change के अकॉर्डिंग एक जगह से दूसरी जगह पर माइग्रेट करते हैं दो काइंड के बर्ड्स हैं जो इंडिया में आते हैं दैट फर्स्ट इज साइबेरियन क्रेन एंड सेकेंड वन इज फ्लेमिंगो साइबेरियन क्रेन स्पेशली विजिटेड इन द भरतपुर एरिया केवलाव देव 
बर्ड सेंचुरी भरतपुर में केवला देव बर्ड सेंचुरी है वहाँ पर साइबेरियन क्रेन मैक्सिममली आते हैं दैट नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट वन इज द फ्लाइमिंगो दिस इज द सेकेंड मॉड्यूल कम्पीटेड इन नेक्स्ट मॉड्यूल वी विल डिस्कस द वाइल्ड लाइफ एंड डिफरेंट वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरीज इन इंडिया थैंक यू